Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Elementary Mitch, and I have two really cool math tricks to show you. I've done these tricks in the past, but on one of them, I lost the Google Doc to share with you, and I found it. So today, if you hit the link um, in the description, you're able to print one of the tricks. The other one, you don't even need to print anything. You can do it right where you're sitting. So today, what I want to do is show you these two really cool mind-reading math tricks. So let's take a look. Okay, the first one is called the calendar trick. And I have two different ones. Um, this works on any calendar, as long as you have four numbers down and four numbers across like you would in a regular calendar. So I did two different ones. If you check the description, you'll be able to get to the link to be able to print this out. So here's the cool part. Are you ready? Here is the answer, and I have read your mind, and I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, so that paper will always stay there. So here we go. Um, this is how this trick works. Let's do this first one up here. You're just going to circle any of the 16 numbers. So let's say you circled 19. And again, I'm going to be able to read your mind. So you're going to circle any number here. And what you're going to do is cross off, when you pick your number, cross off every number in your circled numbers row. So you can do this right now where you're sitting. You can pick any of the numbers, or you can just write these numbers down on a piece of paper and pause this video. But let's say I pick the number 19. I'm going to cross off every number in its row. And I'm going to cross off every number in its column. Okay? So that should give us nine numbers left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Now you're going to circle another number, one of the remaining nine. So let's say I circle this 11. Okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cross off every number in its row and cross off every number in its column. And that should leave me with four numbers left. One, two, three, four. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to circle one of the remaining numbers. And I'm going to do like I've done before. Cross off every number in its row cross off every number in its column. And I'm left with one number left, and I'm gonna go ahead and just circle that number there. So, if you did this at home, my four numbers are probably different than your four numbers, okay? But watch this. You're gonna tell whoever you're doing the trick to to just write these numbers all down the side of their paper. So I got a six, I have an 11 and I teach second grade so this is perfect they can uh, practice their adding up uh, four two-digit numbers I have a 19 and I got a 28 and you're just going to basically add up these four numbers so here we go um, I got 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 8 is 24 and then I got two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is 64. I have never touched that paper since I put it up there. And the answer is 64. And so here is um, how I knew it was gonna be 64. Um, you can basically just take the two corner numbers, so four and 28, is 32 and just double it and that's going to give you the magic number or you can just add up the corner numbers and if you notice the corner numbers the opposite is 7 plus 25 that's 32 double 32 and we get 64 so that is how you do the calendar trick so you can do the same thing down here, but the magic number is going to be different because the corner numbers are different. So 26 plus 2 is 28, 
double that, the magic number down here is going to be 56. So have some fun with the calendar trick. This is pretty awesome. Again, check the description. Um, I left you a link on how to copy this, but you could seriously just grab a calendar, you know, one of those old calendars you keep around the house, or you can just print these off the internet. But if you want mine, you can just print this right from the description. Okay, let's go off to the next trick. The next trick, I am also going to be reading your mind. I'm going to leave that paper right there. And this one's actually, well, it's going to be a lot shorter, but it's going to involve a little bit of higher math. So second, third, definitely fourth grade should be able to do this. Second grade, they're going to have to know how to regroup with their three-digit numbers. So here we go. You're going to pick any three digit number the numbers have to be different though all three numbers have to be different so let's uh let's pick 325. okay now this is what you tell the person that you're doing this trick to take the numbers and reverse it so i would have 523. And then you're going to tell them whatever number is bigger, put that on top because we're going to be subtracting. Okay. So if by flipping this number, if you know, you had to put the new number at the bottom, just make sure that the top number is bigger. So we have to subtract. So here we go. We're going to uh, regroup there and we're going to have to regroup again. And we get that. Okay. Once they subtract, you're going to tell them to take their number and flip it. So you're going to put the number in the ones column and the hundreds. Keep the tens number where it is and take the number that was in the hundreds column here and put it at the end. Okay. Now, instead of um, subtracting, you're going to be adding. Okay. And we get 18, 8, 9, 10. Okay. We get 1,089. And you'll notice that whatever number you picked, you're going to get, you're going to get the same answer, no matter what number you pick. Pretty cool trick, right? So again, the you have to pick a number where all the digits are different. Um, there were cases where you get a 99 after you subtract. So if you ended up getting a 099, then you would just flip that to 990. And you would still get the 98, you would still get the 1089, okay? I don't have a name for that trick. If you can come up with, you know, the name, throw it down in the comment section. I'll name it after the best suggestion. So there's my two mind reading math tricks. Okay, guys. So there you go. The two really cool mind reading math tricks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to check out the calendar trick, you can hit the description and get the link to print that out yourself. And definitely let me know in the comments section, how did it go when you tried that out on somebody else, okay? All right, guys, I am Elementary Mitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.